you now. James Storm has hijacked the show to take a selfie with Mickey James. I don't think Magnus is uh, having any fun with this. James wow! James Storm, I will never apologize for smashing a guitar over your head because you're a sick son of a bitch. So here we go. Magnus in abyss. Enjoy it from behind. I do not ask you to do that. You do not do stuff that I do not ask. Do you understand? This is between me and Mickey James. Hardcore country! You know, the thing about Impact Wrestling, Al, that I really am enthralled by, the death of everything happening here with the knockouts and the wrestlers. This isn't... PG. It's just grown-up stuff. Yeah, I agree, and I'm an adult, and I can vouch for you that this is very adult stuff. Thank you for vouching for me. Sure. And we want to know what all of you think. Follow us on Twitter, at Impact Wrestling, and of course, for all the latest and breaking news, follow TNA President Dixie Carter at TNA Dixie. Why do you have a suitcase? The show's moving to Wednesday, right. starting June 3rd. But you don't need a suitcase. I don't. We're good. I want to bring my stuff. Wow. As most of you know, I have agreed to come back for one more match. And I tell you what, I can't wait for that match. I can't wait to give you everything I have and hope to have one of the greatest matches of my career. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. I'm here to talk about friendships and family. You see, as most of you know, Magnus is my fiance, but he's not just my fiance, he's my best friend. He is the father of my child. He is the love of my life. And James Storm, has been a dear friend of mine for as long as I can remember, which why, is why this makes it so hard and difficult to balance this, this friction between one of my dearest friends and my heart. If I'm Magnus, oh, yeah. I'm living right now. Yeah, what guy would not be living? Seriously. Your fiance is having a hard time between you and, and a friend. Ah, I, I, I'm, I'm breaking There should be no hard time. Ah. But you know, I think that's because James Storm is putting himself in that position. Of course. To, do, to create this friction. Storm has manipulated the family life of Magnus and Mickey James for weeks. James. I'm actually glad that you joined me out here because there's been something I want to talk about. Do you, um, I know that Magnus hasn't personally called you to apologize for what happened with the guitar. I personally want to apologize for what happened with the guitar. It was so beautiful and it was such a great... Hey, 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 I'm going to stop you right there because you don't owe me a damn thing. You don't have to apologize to me. Just like I know Magnus is not going to apologize to me because in his mind, he was doing the right thing. If the roles were reversed, Hell, I might have done the same damn thing myself. But this is not, this is not about doing the right thing. To me, this is more of him being jealous of our friendship. No, I, I, you're being unfair. He's not being jealous. James, you have been in this business as long, if not longer, than I have. And how many times have you been burnt? How many times have you been stabbed in the back? A lot. He's not trying to be jealous. He's trying to protect me. He's trying to protect our family. Try, well, trying to protect you uh, against what? Against me? Against the guy that saved you from having your head smashed in by Brown? I know. I, I am not a bad guy. If, if, if helping a woman, holding the door open for a woman, saying yes, ma'am, is a bad guy, then... I'm a bad, bad man. <laughs> I 
I know, I know you're not a bad guy, but you understand where he's coming from, right? Like, it's just... <laughs> no, I do not understand where he's coming from. Because let me tell you something. I went out and got you a very nice guitar on the half of these people and myself. Hey, that, that cost a lot of money, may I add. I bought your son, Donovan, an awesome blankie with his name on it. Hey, hey, and the greatest thing is, hell, I bought Magnus a great gladiator helmet that he used to wear when he first started. See, that's where you went. That was not funny. Oh, that was that funny. Was, that was funny as hell. It was not funny. That was not funny. All right, All right we'll, uh, we'll agree to disagree. How's that? Okay. All right, hey, 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 hey. It's not cool. All jokes aside, I set up a very important meeting with some very important people. And I'm talking about people like Tim and Faith. I'm talking about John Rich of Big and Rich. I'm talking about Cowboy Troy. I'm talking about Carrie Underwood. I'm talking about Dell Oliver. Hell, I'm talking about Billy Corgan in the back. You did what? what did you do? I'm talking about these people want to meet Mickey James. These people want to do something with Mickey James. They want to take a career that only Mickey James can have and make it bigger. And, and I can tell by the look on your face that it's kind of a hard decision. So like I said before, if a decision is hard to make, then it shouldn't be made. But I tell you what, you should really think about this. And whatever you choose, I don't, I don't give a damn what you choose. Whatever you choose, I want you to do it for you. And believe me, I'm there for you. Hey, you know what, maybe James Storm isn't such a bad guy. Really? Seriously? Well, he's setting up meetings for Mickey James. And here's the big question, why? What's he got to gain out of this, well, Josh? He, I, I, Storm was right when he said, he said, That's another Look. man's woman. But he said, James. he got in the, well, hold on. James. Cowboy. Tell him I'll see him in Nashville. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, look, I think Mickey James is making the right decision here. I doubt that. Look at this guy, I think he's a snake. Storm setting up big-time meetings for Mickey James. Again, why? 